Ooh. Abdul Dado. Three times. This is honoring two great new boom leaders. Then factual. Now factual. Indigenous, remember us. Indigenous, remember us. Remember us, indigenous. Bleed for white people. I saw you're afraid to bleed. Long as the white man sent you to Korea, you bled. He sent you to Germany, you bled. He sent you to the South Pacific to fight the Japanese, you bled. You bleed for white people. But when it comes time to seeing your own churches being bombed and little black girls murdered, you haven't got no blood. With all this information floating around in everybody's ears, you can get it free. Why, you should open up your mind and your head and your heart and realize that you have been led by lies. And today that it's time to listen to nothing but naked, undiluted truth. And when you know the truth, as Jesus said, truth will make you free. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln won't make you free. Truth will make you free. When you know the truth, you're free. It's a un it is a, a, a contract uh -huh. that is they know... But what they do is they push out the lie that, oh, you were born in America. You have constitutional rights. No, you don't have any constitutional rights because when you go into the courtroom, they fly a yellow French flag, which means the Constitution is suspended in the room, number one. Number two, Congress is not bound by the Constitution. Congress must promote human rights in the five fields of endeavor economic, social, cultural, civil, and political. Mm -hmm. So a person who's black or African-American, a person of African descent, as per the Dred Scott decision of 1857, which has still not been overturned, they are not considered part of the body politic. What about these black politicians that are running for office, that are in mayors and, and congressmen? I said, that's all show. Yeah. They know they have no because they are what? Part of the Boule. Mm. And the contract that Boule has with Skull and Bones is they have to have an image that looks like them that makes them think they're part of quote unquote Americana. Mm -hmm. But the reality of the situation is that is just a distraction because the word black has no standing at law. That's what Barack Obama said on October 16, 2012. On the Tom Joyner Morning Show, why nobody in the radio business will ever get that interview audio again? Because when he, when Tom Joyner said it's our first black president, President Barack Obama, he said, "Tom, I don't consider myself the first black president because the word black has no standing at law." Right there, all y'all were supposed to stop calling yeah. yourself black, mm -hmm. but it, it kept doing it. Yeah. So that means what? They are agreeing under contract. Mm -hmm that they are property of the city, state, county, municipality, up to the U.S., and now, because the U.S. was dissolved on October 12, uh, 2021, they, the United States and all the people claiming they're citizens without amendments or addendums to those uh, adhesion contracts, mm -hmm. they're chattel property of the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Whew. That's a... Uh... That's a that's a lot of information, brother. <laughs> so, so well, this is what's going. It's not information anymore. It's a fact. Ain't worried about nothing. Choosing black makes you nothing. What? Choosing black makes you nothing. Choosing black makes you nothing. Ah, I chose white and I'm something. White work. This is the right. <laughs>